very works. They feel it punishes teams for trying at the end of the season and, and instead rewards others who maybe aren't doing as well. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Double team on Parker. Duncan goes in, inside, Robinson. And he places that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Carter on the wing. He's covered by Ginobili. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And check out the bounce. Oh, bounce. Bounce to the ounce. <laughs> Clark, how about that? Yeah. All right. You Showing him off Kevin. right there. Good move. You said it, my man. He's a highlight reel waiting to happen. You know, Clark, losing teams, handling losing with an eye to the future. It's a, it's a slippery slope and, and a very tough situation, not only for teams. But the lead to try to figure out and rule on. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. Well said. And I'm not sure what the answer is. I kind of like where we are with the lottery system. Yes. But it's something to reevaluate. I don't think it needs to be tinkered with at this point, though. You know, obviously, he, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you um, envision yourself as a coach as well. So you know, sometimes um, you need to make some adjustments. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. It's stolen by West. In transition, here come the Spurs. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. Now here is Miller after Ennis Cantor's miss. Stolen by Cantor. He's all alone. Here's Spanoulis. Finish off the break. Really a heads-up play on both ends there. The steal and the quick push on the break. Rapid-fire basketball at its best. Boom, 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 bang. Here's Marjanovic. There's the pick. Spurs working the ball around now. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but, boy, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Green comes in for Patty Mills, and Parker subbed in for Kyle Anderson. Here's Worthy, and down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. It's Parker with the drive. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Now here's Worthy. He dishes it to Grant. Passes to Spinoulis. Six on the shot clock. The shot, no good. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. There's a good screen. Here's Miller. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Well, you know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. The shot's good from Cantor. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Parker drives in. And it's Parker again missing. Last outing for San Antonio, it was a loss to Indiana. Here's Worthy. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to be on David West. And for a long time in the NBA, the stretch four was kind of the anomaly and, and not the standard. Now it seems that you are the rare power forward if you can't 
hit a three. Very few traditional power forwards now in the NBA. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Miller, and he can't hit the second. Hit the stretch four and the need for shooting at the position. They don't need to be a three-point threat, but they do need to be able to hit a mid-range jump shot. Yeah, well said. I think you need to have guys that can make perimeter shots to create spacing. The game's evolving to a space-out-the-floor type game, and shot-making gives you a chance to do that. Now here's Parker. Over in the corner, Green. San Antonio again missing. The Thunder leading by 21. Durant. Oh! Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. No, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in a game. I certainly can't remember the last time I, I saw one. I tell one. you what, fellas, you might not see another one like that one for a while. Here's Leonard following the score by Oklahoma City. West draws the double. Pass to Green. Down low. Here's Parker. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Green against Kobe. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got five assists in the game. San Antonio's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Hughes with the steal, and here's the fast break. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. Thunder shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Green against Durant. Parker double-teamed. Here's Marjanovic. The stupendous finish in traffic. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Worthy dishes to Cantor. He kicks it to Durant. Hughes against Leonard. Six to shoot. Leonard with the steal. The dish to Parker. The good-looking shot from the wing. Parker's got 12 points here in the second half. Oklahoma City leading by 21. Here's Hughes. Misses off the right iron. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, heat check or not, I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making that one. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Got that one up quick. 17 points for Kevin Durant. Just too dangerous of a shooter to leave alone from beyond the arc. Hughes with the steal. And here's the break. All alone. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. And really, once he got that steal, just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly, because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. And, and that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. A different look for Oklahoma City. Chamberlain's checked in for Cantor. Rodman comes in for Worthy. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Larry Hughes. Robinson's checked in for the Spurs. Duncan comes in for David West. And who could forget the tear that Westbrook went on last season? I mean, after the All-Star break, it was just triple-double after triple-double for him. Well, Greg, for Westbrook, as you were talking about him, the triple-double stretch included four in a row. He had six triple-doubles, Clark, in eight games. It was sensational. Yeah, it really was, Kevin. And what's even more amazing was that he was very close to a triple-double, even on the nights he didn't get one. Man, he's a guy who showed you what it means to carry a team. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Horace Diaz checked in for Duncan. Mills comes in for Green. And Andre Miller has subbed in for Tony Parker. Leonard with no one around. In the first half, they had some success from the arc. But that isn't the case here. 
They're down and trying to get it all back in one fell swoop. That's not the right strategy. Chip away at it. The shot by Bryant, no good. San Antonio's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Diaw with a wide open look and too long on the shot. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. And he gets the bucket. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here is Miller to the wing right side to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Chamberlain got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And it's Westbrook, that time on the assist by Bryant. 16 points for Russell Westbrook. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. Robinson puts the fade away right on the money. Robinson's got four points now in the quarter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Thunder. But, Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, part of this, this kind of punishment. Too. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. Uh, they kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Carter. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Now, here is Chamberlain after David Robinson's miss. Mills with the steal. The three. And he gets it to go. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. That one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. Boy, I love the serious killer instinct they've shown. Finishing strong. Misses off the left iron. Chamberlain kicks to Westbrook. He feeds it to Durant. Three-pointer. Mills with the rebound. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. No clue where that pass is going. That is a brutal turnover. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. They poured it on tonight, Clark. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kevin, what was the key in securing this win tonight? Well, we had to get stops. You know, those guys, they got so many options. So many good players, man. We just had to rally around each other and get stops. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. Doris, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark, Greg, and Doris, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. But first, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson just a few aisles above us. The 2K Sports post-game show. Ernie Johnson again, folks, alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to take a quick peek at our Jordan player of the game. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. He flat out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. This is a game no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. I'm getting jealous. And he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.